What's up guys, it has been a long time since I've done these career mode episodes and honestly I haven't done them in a month and you know why? It's because it's because I've had assignments to submit and yeah I've just been a bit busy with university stuff but now all the assignments have been submitted so I'm gonna try and focus on these career mode episodes uploading every week not every day but weekly I'm gonna try and upload these episodes as well as doing weekly vlogs for you guys so yeah man let's get right into the first match which is being played against Crystal Palace away from home at Selhurst Park let's see if Forrest can get three points away from home today I'm not sure what the next match is but it will probably be, uh, be announced during the Palace match so yeah if you're new please make sure you subscribe and yeah let's let's keep the support guys I'm doing really well at the minute did the Morocco vlogs last week now doing the trying to do these weekly vlogs it's hard but I'm really uh, but I really am trying so yeah let's go uh, oh my gosh okay gonna reduce the volume of my mic because it's a bit loud if you guys can still hear me a bit but just don't want it to be too loud so you guys can also hear the gameplay yeah hopefully we get the three points today have to focus now then after this i'll do the zyme bridges junior career mode episodes and yeah we'll see how it goes and a vibrant atmosphere has all the ingredients for a really exciting game Oh my gosh, and Nina Tavares making a bad pass already. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace. Uh, come on. Alberto Moreno starts with Nathaniel Clark nice. in the fullback positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Uh oh, oh yeah, man. How you leave? El Shawari, hold up. El Shawari at Crystal Palace. What? That's a weird transfer. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Low key. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfielders will be key today. Okay. They can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs. It will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Nice. Ah, that was a good free ball. Hopefully, we get a goal from this corner. And over comes the corner. Oh, shoot! Yes, one nil to the Forest. Let's go, Sangare. Well, here's the replay, and this is what you're always told as a kid. Go for the far post, make it difficult for the keeper, and then... The keeper made a bad save, I'm not going to lie. Exactly but we had to put in, and that was 1-0 to us. Was. Orsolini. Okay, cool. And what happened to Elise? You're sending Elise for El Shawar and what? Ogadellini. Orsolini, sorry. What? Okay. That's probably going to be offside. No? Alright. Okay. Nice. Nice. Woo! I thought they were going to get the ball. Yes. Oh, come on, man. Making bad passes as well. Yes, Dominique has scraped. Okay. Go on to Paris. Oh my gosh, one missed opportunity. What's going on? Man, that should have been 2 0. It's alright, we'll score from this corner though. <gasps> Dean had this with the save. Jeez. Uh, let's go, come on. <sighs> Such a weak head on. Jefferson Lerma. Now with Mateta. Clean challenge. 
Yep. Go on, Gibbs White. Shoot. Thank you. In the second half, they could just play more defensive because we're already winning, so we can't concede any goals today. Oh, he was offside. Jefferson Lerma. Jean Philippe Mateta. Good use of advantage by Oh, whoa. Oh, he's through here. Good save, Odysseus. Guys, we need to be making these tackles. No, thank you, Vlacho Dimos. Four dog and a score. I can't lie. Okay. Good block, Nuno. Come on. Go on, Ahmad. Get away from them. Whoa, ref. Yellow card. Thank you. Just love it. Ah, oh, not the best. Good play it in. Hudson Odoi and whipped into the box. Oh, and clears his lines. Orsolini. Eberechi Ezzi on the ball. Gibbs White. He's in behind. Oh, oh I tried the Trevella. Massive credit to the keeper. Well, he's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. On a corner like that, every goalkeeper's dream, really. And Palace could get in behind the defence. Good tackle near Kite. Yes, the other. Come on. Going well. And a chance to whip it in here. And thumped away. Okay. Ah. Oh. Advantage played. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Well, they promised much on the break, but ultimately delivered little. Whoa, Ref, come on. He brushed me off the ball. Free kick here. And the Ooh. keeper more than equal to the task. Trying to pick out a teammate. Yeah, let's go. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well delivered ball into the area, and then what a great finally scored from a corner. The ball, the with Nothing Dean Henderson could do about that. Well, this is threatening to get Guys, like I said, I'm gonna go defensive in the second half well, because we're already winning three now. So there's no point in us scoring more goals, otherwise, it'll be more embarrassing, and the Crystal Palace fans will just go home. So, well, maybe I wrote him off too quickly. Good defending in the end. Okay, Gibbs White. Nice. Yeah, I was never going to make it. Very good first half. Three goals. Got the opportunities that we needed. Now it's just time to play defensive. So, let's do it. Cool. Well, they've got Let's things go. going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Just keep on playing the passes. That didn't go get the ball. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> nice. Well, 
Felipe. Aurier. And Felipe with it. Nuno Tavares. Ibrahim Songare. Felipe. Well, at the moment, they just can't get near the ball. And you can fully understand the crowd's reaction. They expect much more from their team. Fine sequence of passes. Morgan gives White. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace taking on Newcastle Dude, Castle United. beat them, please. Nicolas Dominguez. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Sorry, guys. I know this seems a bit boring, but I'm just making Nicolas sure that Tavares. they don't get the ball. Tavares. Nice. <laughs> oh dear. Left Nina Tavares at the shops. Nice. Well thumped clear. Oh great block. It's with Diallo. Oh gosh. And the to be applauded. Well cleared away. Klein. And credit due a good intervention. Aboniyi. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA. So, Luton Town's the Luton last Forest match of today's episode. As you know, I'm always playing two matches for these crew modes. Dominguez. Every pass heading its target. Nicolas Dominguez. Tavash. Songare. Oh. Okay, let's see what they can do on the counter attack. Very ultra defensive. Oh, okay. Get out of here. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Aurier? Could that would have been outside. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Jean Philippe Mateta. Okay. Well, they know they need to stop him. Oh, good looking run. What a commitment to defending. A wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. And just wide of the target at the end. Well, good effort, but I think the goalkeeper did have it covered. Whoa, rare. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. On to Diallo. Gives white. And passing it through. Oh, really good nice. goalkeeping. Delivering it. Okay. Away properly. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're cold wow. now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. Ducouré. I'm really pressing their opponents. Cheers, mate. Well, that was in Whoa, Rev. That's a red. Come on. Now, what's the no, that should be a red. Time? No way. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's. Why are they committing so many fouls? Ibrahim Songare. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. El Sharawi. 
Jean-Philippe Mateta and Lerma Orsolini Oh come on uh. The high press was on and that's a fantastic tackle well, the What to say Trying to deliver it accurately Good clearance really the ideal clearance Go on now and he all hands on deck and he's through here if he scores this oh my god and clears his lines Orsolini he's given it away decent looking pass cut inside take the shots Oh. There will be one minute added on at the end. There's no way they can go a goal in sixty seconds. No way. Eh. Nice. Get out of here, quick. Good save. Can someone get on the end of this? And there it is. The Come full on. Time Full time. Free no. Played ultra defense of the second half and it worked. So easy win guys. No post match interview. Let's go straight into the Luton Town match. Okay, let's check out inbox. Players in the international duty 12 October to 18 for Langa, McKenna, Wood, Turner. Okay. Oh, the first team, so it's alright. It's unavailable. Oh, Warrell, okay. What's going on? Okay, let's look at that. Right, so Aurea wants his contract extending, guys. So I think we'll do that after the Luton Town game. Is that at least? I don't know what's going on. Oh gosh, what is it? They're, they're apparently unhappy. Who can say that? Is. Okay, I'll call him then. Recall these players. I don't even want them. Right, Luton Town, let's go get this three points. Just to end off the episode on a high. tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today no rain in sight my name is Let's Derek get Ray. the wing guys to be here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up it is Nottingham Forest and they face Luton wow. Town 
Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Yes, Felipe. We get a really good game here. Well, the referee trying to play advantage there, wow. but it wasn't forthcoming. Nuno Tavares. It's Callum Hudson Odoi. And slipped through beautifully. Could be. Couldn't quite hang on. Oh, I'm mad. Keeper, to be fair, the angle was tight. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It was always going to be difficult to score from there. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, that's a very impressive return, isn't it? He's been excellent. And it's not just been his goals. His all-round players look really bright this season. Nuno Tavares. Oh, the Nino. Looks promising. The cross is on. That was a bad cross, but at least the keeper made the save. Hudson Odoi. Ah! Wow! <sighs> I thought that was going to be a goal, Hudson, man. And over it comes. Cleared away. Shoot her mad. <gasps> Ooh. Get the cross in. Oh my days. Coley Woodrow. Really good challenge. Could be threatening. Go on now, Annie. Let's get your goal. Oh, surely. And fine goalkeeping. This keeper's very good. Loki. <sighs> Ooh. Well, for Nottingham Forest, you have to say it was a good performance and result in the last match against Crystal Palace. What do you expect this time around, Stuart? Well, what a performance that was away from home. It doesn't get better than that. I think they have to be favourites for the three points again today. They have far too much quality in their squad. Go on, Hudson. I must say, this looks promising. In with a chance. That's it, goal. Well, One nil up. Well, here it is again, and I have to say the defense. Tyrell, I will need. No wonder the keeper's exposed. Marvelous Nakamura. Going well, but quick thinking defensively. Aboniyi. Excellent vision. Ah, oh, offside. That brings this move to an end. Well, he saw the pass, but he just couldn't get it away quickly enough. He has teammates around him. Oh, come on, that's not a penalty. Oh, my days. How? Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. And now Left. Ah. Oh, one one. Oh dear. So Didn't think we'd be conceding a goal. I have to get back in this game. It's no way we're joining today. Well, a goal to let you know about in the Brentford game. Here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Brentford. The goalkeeper's made an initial great save, but there's nothing he could do after that. It's now 1-0 with 31 minutes played. What a game we have here, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. 
Nicolas Dominguez. And it might be. Whoa, goal. Let's go. Didn't think it was going to score from that angle. Let's look at it again. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Two goes for Tyler Awani. Great tackle, lads. Could be dangerous. Might as well get his hat trick now and it's game over. Oh. Well, it should be a goal, but take nothing away from the keeper. That's a brilliant save. Nicolas Dominguez. Felipe. Gives White. It might be. Ah. Well, no danger now. Well, very close to half time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, it's been a good first half so far, and they've been the better side, certainly going forward. They now just need to keep playing with intensity right up to the break. Moving the ball. Go on. Oh, should have been 3 1. Well, he's got to hit the target now. What a waste that is. Pelly Ruddick and Fanzu. Oh, come on, ref. The free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Okay. Marvellous Nakamba. Well, he knows what he's Good doing. Good tackle. And there it is. The half-time whistle is sounded. No doubt about it. It's not been a bad first half apart from when we conceded that penalty and they scored. Well, Otherwise, it's it at least a 2-1 up. We need to score one more. And we can just play ultra defensive. Because I know they won't, cons they won't get another one. No way. And we have a goal to update you on in the Brentford game. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Burnley. They're back level. It's one all with 47 minutes played. Oh. Fast out of the blocks here in the second half, Derek. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Well, he needed to read it to get there and did. Live from the Liverpool, the oh EAT. gosh guys, the next episode is going to be a difficult one. Liverpool first, at home as well. Anfield is a difficult place to go, especially in real life. That's who Arsenal are playing on Sunday, so it's not looking good. And the ball back with Nottingham Forest here. Aboniyi. Really good challenge. I must say, this looks promising. Go on, Maria. Oh, good looking run. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Long way out there. <laughs> I thought that went in, guys. Wow. I have to say, it's not a bad effort. That would certainly made it more comfortable for them. That could have been a goal of this season, right there. He succeeds in clearing it. Go on, Dominiguez. He's beaten his man. Can he put it away? Hat trick. Let's go. Well, here it is.
is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's well, it's defensive ball. now, guys. Okay, just hearing the situation has changed in the Brentford game. To what extent, Alex Scott? It's a second goal for Brentford. They're back in this now with 61 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Nice. Here's Diallo. Aurier. And Felipe with it. Songare. Well, the pass not finding its target. That was a bad pass. Oh well, we can Don't get the ball we back. More live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Luton Town facing Aston Villa. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Nicolas Dominguez. Aurier. Songare. Well, nicely cut out. He's in with a chance. Yes. Fantastic goal. And no come on. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Wow, four goals for Tyra Avenue today. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Uh. Come on. This attack looks highly promising. It should be. At least that was not a penalty, otherwise it's going to be long. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. Felipe. Whoa, ref, ref. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Chance to run at them. Water ball. Electing to shoot. Ooh. Pellegrino. Mpanzu. Oh no, no, no. Oh, he's missed. Ah, thousand. Let's go. Unfortunately, he's made the wrong one. Just ten minutes remaining here. Diallo. That's useful play. Oh. And not cleared away properly. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. And we have a goal to update you on in the Brentford game. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Burnley. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot from such a long way out. I think it totally surprised the goalkeeper. It's now level at 2-2 with 84 minutes played. The fans are in good spirits, Derek. Alex with the info as ever. And unable what to keep tackle. the ball. And support available. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Aboniyi. And it's with Gibbs White. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Good looking move. Can he make it count? Let's go. Yes, it's He's just a chance for them to revel in the moment. It's just too easy out here, guys. One end to an episode. Let's go. 5-1.
victory for the home team. No complaints from sort out Oreos actually well, I'll sort it out off camera so so guys that is all for today's episode thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it as much as I did playing the games and I'll see you in the next one